So the first thing you're going to want to do is go into your mastery tracker and you can find that right in your course menu right here. If it's not there for you, I have another video on how to enable that in your Canvas course. I'll link it down below. So you're going to want to click that and it will take you to your mastery tracker. And this has all of our standards and all of our assessments in um, this place that we can see everything. It's tracking those standards for our students. Now, if your assessments are not here, it's because the only time assessment appears on your tracker is if it has more than one standard. So you can see there's two standards for this one assessment. There's this one, and then there's this one. Um, and that's why this assessment appears on the map. If your assessment only has one standard, what you'll have to do is click into the standard and that will show you um, that assessment for that one standard. So now let's go over changing sections on our mastery tracker. Um, it's important to know that your tracker only follows one of your course sections. So in order to change it, you can click up at that little person and you can change your sections right here. And don't forget to save. You have to scroll down and go ahead and click save. And now um, our tracker has a different section. So you wanna do that for each of your sections. And you wanna do that before you even launch the performance grader. Um, because unlike speed grader where it can change your sections for every, for your whole course, you have to make sure that you change your section for your master tracker um, here before you go into performance grade. Now that you've given, given an assessment, you might have to use that performance grader to either grade some of their um, questions or you have to adjust something because the assessment question is not grading the right way. Um, if your students have scores, it will appear like this. If it has a um, place that it needs grading, it will look like this. And this shows that you have to go in and give that um, question a grade. So the first thing you're gonna go is you're gonna go into your assessments. And right after you do that, you're gonna change this to list view. And it just looks so much cleaner. And so when this, this is all of your assessments on your map and it will show you for this assessment, we have like all of these students who have completed it and I'm going to grade it. So I'm gonna click the grade button right there. And since we've already changed our sections um, in the mastery tracker, I'm looking at my um, first, I think it's my first section for this course. And so this is your performance grader and this is not speed grader. And um, although you can use the performance grader within speed grader, I just recommend doing this all with your mastery tracker. And so you can see we have our students here. I can click this and it will just show me um, their initials and now and I can also have it so it shows me their full name. And if I click around to my students, I can see what they got on the um, assessment. Now, if I have to go in and change a um, question, or if I have to go in and grade, uh, for this question right here, I'm gonna look at the top, not the bottom. The bottom has the correct answer. The top is whatever the students um, put for their answer. So let's say for, for some reason, I just need to change this for this student. So I'm gonna change this to yes, and I'm gonna change this to the right answer. And over here, it adjusted because I changed his response. And over here, it shows me that that point was um, awarded instead of it showing zero out of one. And I can save the changes down there or I can discard. Um, because I'm obviously gonna discard because I don't wanna adjust that. And that's how I can change um, a question for a student. You're gonna do the same thing if you need to grade an assessment. It's gonna look like this. And I'm going to do the same thing that I go into assessments, change this to list view, and I'm gonna hit grade. For this um, assessment, the teachers are using a rubric, so it doesn't show that any of the students have completed it because the students are doing it on a separate piece of paper. Um, so I'm gonna hit click grade, 
and this is where I can give the um, rubric points for this um, CFA and I'm going to score assessments and it will populate that score for that student. Now if you're going to grade another section you're going to want to go into students and change your sections there and now you can do the whole thing over again and go back to assessments click on the grade button and it will launch the performance grader for that section. If this appears up here, um, that's telling you that this student has not taken the assessment yet. Uh, if this is popping up and you know that the student has taken it, you've seen it, go ahead and put in a tech ticket and that will come to me and we will explore what's going on. You can adjust scores within the performance grader, but you can also adjust scores in the mastery tracker. Um, so what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna go back to assessments and click on that tracker student view button. And you also wanna make sure that you're in the right section. And I'm gonna click that. And that will show me the assessment, but in the tracker view. And this shows me um, the, two, the two standards that were in this one assessment and what the breakdown of that is. Um, you can see for this, um, it's awarding one point per question. So we have three questions aligned to this standard and one question aligned to this standard. And I can see that right up there. Um, now if I hover over one of these um, boxes, it's gonna also allow me to launch the performance grader for that particular student. And you can see right here, it takes me right to the student and I can adjust the scores right here or I can adjust it in that um, text box back on that tracker. If I adjust this and if I go ahead and delete the score completely, it will ask me if I want to delete there. It's not going to do it because this is an actual student. It's going to ask me if I want to delete the score. And then if um, when I hit yes and I delete their response, it will allow them to go back in the assessment and take it all over again. I can also get to that same page that I was at by um, going into my master tracker, clicking on the assessment right here, and that shows me um, the breakdown of that assessment. If I want to pass this grade back to PowerSchool, I'm going to go into my assignments in my course and that will show me, um, I wanna find that assignment, but you can see right here that this is my Mastery Connect assignment and it has this little icon, that Mastery Connect icon. I can um, sync this to PowerSchool, I can hide it from the students, and I can also drag this um, assignment to a different assignment group if I want to. So that's everything within the performance grader. Um, it's a little complicated. Uh, if there's something I didn't um, touch on or something that you still have a question about, please feel free to email me, put in a tech ticket, or you can comment in the video below, and I will get back to you as fast as possible. Hopefully the Master Connect journey is not too scary, and I applaud you all for um, doing an amazing job and continuing on this journey.